Welcome to Zendu Fitness and welcome to day two or video two in the Jump Rope Samurai series. So as we mentioned in the video yesterday, if you haven't watched it, go back and watch it now. We are focusing on footwork in this series. So today specifically, we are focusing on front toe taps, back toe taps, front heel taps, feet X's, and fast skip. Now, if you can get these moves down, you're gonna start to advance yourself into the samurai status, meaning you are becoming the next level jump roper and you're gonna look pretty cool. Let's get into these moves, shall we? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're starting off with front toe taps. Now, I'm gonna give you guys the side angle, the foot angle, and then after that, the front angle. So as you can see here, Brandon is just tapping his toes. His upper body is staying the same exact as it would for regular bounce, and that's really the key to all these moves, like I mentioned in the last video as well um, but this this move in particular what Brandon's doing is shifting his feet but you can't really notice it here but all he's doing is slightly tapping his toe to the ground there is no weight on his back foot when he's doing this move so just be conscious of that All right, guys, the next move is back toe tap. So instead of tapping the foot out, you're simply bringing, you're bending your leg and bringing the toe back and just doing a little tap. Now, I want to emphasize on these moves, there's not a whole lot of movement involved. And what I mean by that is you don't want to be moving your feet one to two feet backwards and forwards. You only want to be going a few inches um, so that your circle of uh, motion stays very small so you don't really mess up too much with the rope. Or sorry, you minimize how much you're messing up with the jump rope. But like anything else, guys, these are footwork moves this is something that you know you can you can watch all the tutorials on in the world but it's really gonna take you doing the thing and practicing All right, guys, next up for front heel taps. I don't know why we called these front heel taps because there's no really like back heel tap, but anyway, front heel taps, guys, doing the same thing as you would for front toe taps, except when the foot comes out this time, you're lifting that toe up and letting the teal, the, excuse me, letting the heel um, hit the ground. So as you can see here with these moves, um, Brennan's just making a small little step and coming through and smacking that heel to the ground each time. Feet X's, guys, probably one of the more difficult ones for some people to get down just because it takes a little bit of practice. But as you can see here from the side angle, all we're doing is crossing up our feet. And we're not just going continuous crossing. We're going cross, back to the middle, cross, back to the middle. So the best way to think about this one, guys, is do it in parts. Don't think so much. Don't emphasize so much on the cross. Worry about getting back to the middle and getting set again and then crossing your legs. But making sure that each leg is hitting with the same weight on the ground. You don't want to be off-centered because that's going to make you mess up when you do these so both uh, your weight should be equally distributed across both feet and lastly guys the fast skip so the fast skip what you're doing here it's kind of a it's a pretty subtle move look at each time Brennan's feet come each time they come down he's tapping them twice but he's kicking his foot out the first time and back the second time so if his left leg is hitting the ground twice his right leg's going forward and back so we go back and forward back and forward back and forward so you see how there's those two hops coming in there that ladies and gentlemen is the fast skip thanks for tuning in to this tutorial guys more than anything what i want you to do is continue to practice and master these moves check out the individual tutorials if you have not already yet and stay tuned for the next video in the series ladies and gentlemen you guys, if you like this video, please give the video a like, you know, maybe a subscribe if you want to get notified when these other videos come out. And we're gonna link the video that's coming next in the series up in the screen right now. So take a look, check out the cross rope that we put below if you want to use a jump rope we use in this video, and be on the lookout for the next video.